Hi guys, Kingdom Hearts Newsman here, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts news. Please ignore my third eye right here, it, it hurts really bad, and it, it looks disgusting, but pimples are part of beauty too, you know. Fellas, you are not gonna believe it. We, you probably are actually, this is sort of like a running trend with Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Missing Link has been delayed Yes, again! The highly anticipated action RPG Google Maps game is on the delay buzz once again. Uh, it's not a big delay, and in actual fact, there is some kind of good news that comes along with this. In case you've been living under the Kingdom Hearts rock, <laughs> Time to catch up, Bob. The very first Android closed beta was meant to happen next week on the 25th of April. This was originally meant to happen at the end of January. That got pushed back into April. Just to catch people up here, the first closed beta test for iOS happened at the end of November and ran through until early December. Also, this closed beta test is only for the UK, Japan, and Australia. So the official Kingdom Hearts Missing Link Twitter account announced that this upcoming beta will now begin May 2nd and will run through until the 10th. The supposed reason is the team need more time to apply further improvements to the game upon the feedback that they received from that first initial iOS beta test. With all of the delays that Missing Link has received, considering now that it's been two years since the game was first revealed, it really seems like Square Enix wants to try and make sure that everything works. We also know that they've been taking extra time to ensure that Missing Link can work on as many mobile phone devices as possible as it can possibly handle, optimize the living life force out of it, but to also ensure that it is a quality product, gacha aside. The good news here though is there is also going to be another iOS beta test happening at the exact same time, May 2nd through to May 10th. The recruitment for the second iOS beta will begin next week. Now, I was thinking about something, possibly with the second iOS beta, could it maybe be for the US? Because it seems really strange that Japan, Australia, and the UK are the first places uh, around the world to be able to try it out. You would think that Square Enix would prioritize USA first, right? That's where most of their player base is going to be, especially if they want to test how strenuous this is going to be on their servers. The thing that makes me think otherwise though, and that this next beta for iOS will still be for the same locations is that it was only announced on the Japanese Missing Link Twitter account. You would think if it is coming to the US, it would be announced on the NA English version Twitter account. Still though, this news only just came out and as of the time of me recording this, it is currently nighttime, everyone's in sleepy land over in the US. However, if we haven't heard anything from the NA Missing Link Twitter account in about the next day, I would say, still, same location. What I'm looking forward to most about the second beta test though is, okay, for one, improvements definitely, but uh, two, to see if there's new content added into it, especially if they are taking so long to get the second one out. I mean, it's been five months since the first closed beta test. That's quite a while. That's a long period of time between beta tests. Now, I don't want to set any kind of expectations here, but if we think back to shortly before the last beta test, we got a brand new Kingdom Hearts Missing Link trailer. I have been thinking getting closer to the date of this second closed beta test, and especially because some time has passed now, if we will receive another Missing Link trailer before the beginning of the second beta test. I just really want to know more story details about this game. As well as that, we know that there is going to be a few different Disney worlds in the game too, along with some brand new ones. Nomura has confirmed so there's going to be some brand new Disney worlds in this game, I have to see them. What's important to keep in mind about Missing Link is that Square Enix have never done a GPS mobile game like this before, or at least not to the degree that Missing Link is shooting for. They have done Dragon Quest Walk, which was an exclusive uh, mobile game that had GPS functionality only in Japan, whereas Missing Link here is obviously worldwide. It's a little bit of a different situation. And that when you look at Missing Link, it is just genuinely one of the best looking mobile phone games I think I've ever seen. They really are trying to shoot for traditional Kingdom Hearts quality 
to a certain degree with this game, which I think is why a lot more people are interested in this compared to something like Unchained Key Union Cross. From what we understand, they're also not outsourcing other developers to assist with this, like Niantic, who are kind of experts at this whole thing at this point. So I'm always like, you know, give them time, allow them to base this turkey, put the herbs and the spices and the salt and the pep on top, man. Let them season it up good so that in the end, we've got a nice juicy succulent turkey breast right there for us to dive into. And you know, the other half of me is like, I'm Kingdom Hearts malnourished. Give me Kingdom Hearts. I'll take anything at this point. Give me a Kingdom Hearts Candy Crush Match 4 game Sudoku f***ing Kingdom Hearts Scrabble Edition. Give me something! I NEED IT! <clears throat> However, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in to yet a another video. Just a little bit of a news update on the Kingdom Hearts situation. Remember, folks, June is coming up soon. Hopefully something big there. Are you sure about that? I just want to add one little piece of bonus content to this video. Uh, something I noticed while editing this video was specifically in this part of the gameplay, kindly provided by Sai. Thank you, Sai. He was a beta tester. Um, I noticed that this little motif that's on the back of this NPC's jacket, which a few of the NPCs that are sort of around Scholar of Kylum and Missing Link are wearing this, just with different color variations, it resembles the Heartless symbol heavily. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just a simple heart detail thing, you know, it's Kingdom Hearts after all, and I'm assuming some of the clothing's probably gonna have, like, heart details on them, right? But then at the same time, I know that this is Tetsuya Nomura, is there some kind of bigger meaning to it? Uh, possibly are all of the citizens that died or were wiped out of history's existence throughout the era of Missing Link? Did they go on to become the pure blood heartless that we fight as Sora, sort of similar to the Dream Eater situation from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross? I... <sighs> What's going on here? I need answers. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with everything that's going on here. Check out my other social media platforms. Thank you so much to my Turkey Tastic patrons. Appreciate you guys. I'm Cynical. Hopefully, having a fantastic day, and we'll talk real soon.